Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to show you how I drew this artwork of Bay from Hololive. So, yeah, another Bay artwork. Who would have thought I would have drawn Bay again? But, uh, in all seriousness, um, super, super happy with this one. Maybe not fully satisfied with the hair, but, um, for the most part, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, the thighs ended up being huge for some reason, but, uh, let, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about how the thighs are bigger than her head. Um, yeah, if, if we could not all comment that in the comments, that'd be great. And if you do comment, I'll, I'll respond, but I won't be happy about it. No, but in all seriousness, um, this was a very fun artwork to uh, make. It's definitely kind of a weird um, composition than what I usually do. Um, it, it was very tall. I usually don't make artworks this tall, but this was a fun one, and I definitely had a lot of fun um, making a much taller looking um, pose. But... um. If you've been watching me for a while or are a new viewer and you're not used to my uh, my uh, processes or what I do, I basically just talk about the artwork while it works. And if you think you'll like that or enjoy it, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to see more. Helps out a whole lot and I really appreciate it if you do that. Um, so it started off with kind of a normal looking uh, proportions and pose but quickly um, grew larger as it went. Um, and I might, I might change it down the line to kind of make the thighs a bit more reasonable because my God, I, I really, uh, really made them pop out like crazy in the finished piece. But, um, that, that's kind of how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you do things and it turns out in a way that, uh, you didn't initially anticipate, but that's okay. That's all part of the process. So, for the most part, I had a whole lot of fun. Um, I definitely uh, struggled a bit trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the pose, but at the end, I started to figure it out, and I definitely really enjoyed it. Um, I went for more of, like, fierce-looking eyes this time, but I wanted the smile to be welcoming, not fully uh, fierce, if that makes sense. And I'm definitely really happy with it. Um, in terms of the hair, I wanted it to be long, and I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted with the hair at first. If I wanted short hair, if I wanted long hair, and ended up going long because I liked uh, it all flowing back into the body, which was the goal to lead the composition. And that is a big part of art, is leading the eye. So, went with long hair, definitely, definitely love long hair. And as you can see, I'm kind of planning it out. Uh, the ears were massive when I started out. I needed to kind of like cool it down a bit. It was definitely huge. And here's where I cropped the composition to kind of make it fit a bit more. Again, the ears are still too big, so I had to go in and fix it later. But um, this was the basic idea. And um, I thought the idea was pretty solid, so I actually managed to uh, finish it. Um, there's going to be little edits that you're going to see and little planning details. Went for kind of like a night dress that had like a weird like crop top. It to, in a way it almost reminds me of a of a Samoan um uh ty it it almost has like a Samoan mixed with a Chinese aesthetic. It's it's definitely different from my usual stuff. It's kind of like an evening gown meets like um almost a I don't know what the word is, like, kind of like a tribal-ish look. It's, but, um, yeah, I, I had to fix it. Um, I did a lot of fixes in the sketching phase that I forgot to record, but I ended up having to resize the head because I thought the head that I was doing looks kind of off. So I used the liquify to fix it and redrew the head and proportions, and that was definitely a good call on my part because the original um, proportions of the head just looked wrong. Little adjustments here and there to kind of fix it and make it look better. Um, a happier mouth than what I usually do. Um, the eyes, like I said, are a bit more fierce this time, so they're they're a lot more narrow than I usually do. And I think there's kind of a... Um, it's fierce, but also welcoming, because the eyes are just ever so slightly open. So, um, also, um, there is going to be... Um, a more NFSFW version of this artwork. But this actually brings up a question that I personally struggle with. These are VTubers, so technically they're real people. Um, 
many people have told me that the VTubers themselves are okay with more NSFW edits, but part of me has always struggled with that because I'm I'm never a hundred percent sure if uh, VTubers are okay with people doing that with their models. And sometimes I feel kind of bad doing it, if that makes sense. Because unlike anime characters who are completely fictional, YouTubers are, in a way, real people. Um, and I know some of them have, si have specifically stated that they're okay with uh, NFSFW of their model. Um, it's always kind of made me uh, take pause, if that makes sense, because... A piece of me really um, is concerned about making more risque edits of real people. And I don't know if that's a normal way to look at it, if I'm overthinking things, but part of me doesn't want to do something that could potentially be a real person, if that makes sense. Um, in a way, my brain treats it like it's like, like almost like you're doing a deep fakes if that makes sense it just doesn't feel right it feels kind of messed up to do to people but i have been assured that certain vtubers are okay with it and for the most part um i just do what is okay but it doesn't mean i don't kind of wrestle with it if that makes sense but um yeah i went for kind of i, I corrected the proportions a bit in the line art phase um those of you who have watched me for a while know my my uh, mantra on what line art is. Line art is about enhancing what is already there, making it more clean, more presentable, fixing little mistakes, and kind of you're not tracing over what you're seeing. You're you're making conscious decisions with a goal of improving what is already there. It's basically the cleanup phase, in my personal opinion. Um. Line lines and line art are super important for guiding the rendering, and that's always been kind of my personal feeling on it, if that makes sense. So our main goal is to just kind of like guide everything and make it look correct. Um, I also I forgot to record it, but I just realized uh, while recording the voiceover for this that I've forgotten to draw the tail. So I'm going to have to go in post this uh recording and physically add the tail back into the character so uh yay <laughs> super stoked about that i'm glad i um i got a thick tongue today good grief um but yeah i've been having a lot of fun lately also um i've got a new song in the works it's going to be coming out um uh, really soon um because i don't just do art i also really enjoy um making music and if you didn't subscribe to me for music, that's totally okay. You don't have to listen to it. It's just one of those things that uh, I personally really enjoy making music. And every now and then I will be releasing a song. And basically the song style, think like uh, Paramore or that like pop punk scene kind of thing. I I'm really into uh, more like pop rock or like punk pop type of uh, sound. Cause I'm a, I like things to be melodic, but I personally enjoy making, um, more, uh, poppy style stuff because I love melody. Melody is like my favorite part of music. And if, uh, you can have the best message in your lyrics, but if it's not fun to listen to, people might not listen to it. So, uh, that was just a heads up, but, uh, here you can see everything slowly coming together and I'm super happy with it. Um, like I said, forgot the tail. That's, uh, my issue. So we'll have to fix that later. I'm using the selection pen to highlight the breasts individually and then use the airbrush to kind of make a sphere out of the, uh, out of the, out of the, uh, breast. So that is the goal is to kind of, uh, draw and highlight individual pieces to kind of guide the eye. Selection pen is super important in my process. But a lot of you will notice the longer you watch me that I render super quickly, but everything else takes a long time. But rendering is super fast for me. And if you've been watching a while, you know why. It's because I used to watch speed paints and tried to render in real time with the speed paints. So I ended up being really fast after a while. But that's just kind of how it goes. And um, that's uh, the whole idea here. 
I use uh, the suction pen here to kind of bring some light back to where the um, the abdomen is. Uh, I zoomed way out. I don't recommend you do that, but I do that sometimes to kind of make sure everything looks correct. I uh, control click on a layer to highlight specifically that layer and then add things in later. Um, it's how I edit layers individually. The final touches on everything, um, I believe I do a multiply layer on after the tonal curves and everything to kind of add more uh, detail and kind of make things pop a bit more. Some basic post-processing. I have a video on post-processing if you want to watch that makes things a little bit easier to understand because this goes really quick and I'm not always able to do that. But yeah, for the most part, we're done adding some chromatic abrasion, and there we go. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps me out a whole lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.